Hello, today's video I'm going to do the window sheet to paste on the current window. This is what I already done. So the privacy screen and I'm going to paste a new one at this window. So first of all, step one to clean your window. So use a wet cloth to clean it. You can use a, the window cleaner. And if there's any dirt, uh, you can just uh, use your nails or use the cloth to uh, remove it. All the uh, dirt uh, that can sink. And uh, when you touch it, it shouldn't be having any uh, different texture. It should be the glass texture. Okay. So secondly, uh, you can take your this privacy sheet. Uh, open up. Open up the plastic. a lot of water, this is just uh, water as much as possible and of course you need to cut this sheet according to size slightly bigger than your window you should cover every corner of it uh, and because here I have this hook so I need to place this sheet under the hood Okay Okay So the sheet should cover all corners, all the glass portion of the window. Next, uh, you would like to push all the air bubbles out of the window. So I normally start with the top, push to the side. So this is a plastic uh, plate, uh, actually it came with the privacy sheet so that it's the seller we provided. So basically you are pushing all the bubbles and water out of the window Out of the glass area So the sheet can be uh, stick to the glass directly Okay, make sure no more bubbles in, at the glass area. If it gets too dry, uh, what you can do is you just uh, pull it up and spray more water. It's okay to pull it up for now. And when you push uh, put more water, it is easier to push all the bubbles to the side. Okay. So the sheets now without the bubbles, uh, then we will start to cut all the corners, excess of oh. 
Okay, normally I will start from the top. Uh, depending on the window, if it's uh, too high, you probably need a stand higher, uh, get a chair or a ladder. So for me, it's good. So I will use the plastic plate and the pen knife. Uh, you can use a razor blade or pen knife. And I will cut horizontally. Okay. And I will pull it out. I will use the plastic plate to hold on to the uh, privacy sheet. And at the end, uh, I will just cut it. Okay. Okay, next horizontally down. If you cut a bit more it's okay, but don't don't have too much excess because the excess will have more bubbles on the later part so your, your privacy screen will have a, will not look very nice it will have more air gaps towards the end but if you cut, cut more uh, you will see uh, it's more unlikely to be seen so rather cut more than less Okay, same thing when I pull out, I use my plastic sheet. If it's. Yeah, sometimes you didn't. Uh, I didn't cut it properly, so the sheet will need, need to cut again using the pen knife. So towards the end, I'll just pull it out and cut directly. And after you pull out, there's some bubbles, and sometimes it's, it's for now it's harder to push. So for now, you can add more water, and you push again, push the air bubbles out of the windows. After you add more bubbles, it should be very easy to push the bubbles. Over here, because of there is a hook, so what I do is I put the plastic sheet over here and the pen knife under the plastic sheet. This is to support the uh, pen knife to be able to cut the uh, uh, privacy sheet. Then you just uh, move it together. Okay, after you pass the hook, then you can go back to the normal. So this, you just press against uh, the corner of the, the cutting edge and your pen knife, uh, make it straight. You don't need to tilt at the angle. Only the plastic sheet need to tilt at the angle. Okay, this portion didn't cut properly, just 
cut it a bit, it's okay. Last the bottom. For the last portion, there's small barrel covers. I would like to spray more water. Yep. So at the end, I would like to do a thorough pushing of bubble again for the last time. Make sure that I push all the surface. How you paste the privacy sheet on the old window? So when you after you paste, you can see the corners. You can see there's a bit of dry area over here. You just push it. So after one day, it will look like this. So it will not be perfect without bubbles, but uh, depends on how how good you do, how good you push, and it might have some bubbles uh, at the corners. So I guess uh, this one I cut. Uh, two liter. I should have cut more so you have uh, have less bubbles. So you will look like this. The corners will still have a lot of uh, bubbles, but uh, from far, actually you can't really see. Yep. Thanks for watching.